I'm Neil Donahue. I am a professor of chemistry, chemical engineering, and engineering and public policy. And in fact, the Lord University professor at Carnegie Mellon University and the editor-in-chief of Environmental Science Atmospheres. So I'm very interested in the behavior of hydrocarbons in the atmosphere, their oxidation chemistry. I've done chemical kinetics of hydrocarbon, oxidation, free radical oxidation chemistry, ozonolysis chemistry, and we're I won't say mostly, but a major interest is the effect of, of hydrocarbons and organic compounds on atmospheric aerosols. Aerosols, in turn, I could talk about this for about four hours because it's <laughs> what I do, but aerosols have a huge role in public health. They kill seven million people or so per year, the excess mortality, uh, which is an enormous burden and it's one of the major burdens on uh, the global burden of disease. Uh, so, so smog, air pollution, is a tremendously important issue. And aeros aerosols are also at the center of essentially the only residual major uncertainty in climate science in the atmosphere. And so understanding the aerosol budget, the mass and number budget of particles, is incredibly central to both this really important health effect and climate change. So environmental science atmospheres seeks to uh, integrate a whole series of intellectual topics related to the atmosphere, um, often involving chemistry because it's the Royal Society of Chemistry, but, but all issues associated with, with the behavior of, of uh, material in the atmosphere uh, as it interacts, as it oxidizes and, and transforms in Earth's atmosphere and interacts with the biosphere and other parts of the what we call global biogeochemical cycles are well within scope in the journal, uh, as is the behavior of other planetary atmospheres. It's always intriguing, the opportunity to, to start a new journal um, is, is exciting. Um, the, the Royal Society of Chemistry certainly is a, is a notable society, and so it was an honor to be, uh, to be able to, uh, to take on that position. Uh, and so to, to, to try to craft a mission for a journal, given just the explosion of, of publications and literature, to try to craft a unique mission and a unique niche for a new journal is an interesting idea and an interesting uh, challenge. I think we're a good journal. We seek to have papers that, I like to say, we want to change the way the world thinks. Um, and that could be a narrow set of people in, uh, working on for, for uh, just intellectual curiosity on an interesting problem, and, and those papers are going to change the way that group thinks. Or it could be the entire uh, you know, community interested in aerosols and public health. Uh, but we want that sort of outstanding paper, and we want those papers to be well written and a joy to read and so with that sort of goal in mind of, of, of well crafted and written papers that have a, a real effect on the way that people are thinking about important problems, I would like to hope that, that authors found it attractive in that regard. And also it's open access uh, and so it's very important to have the opportunity to provide authors with a, a platform so that everyone can access those papers and change the way that everybody thinks about these important problems. So we've had a number of, of, of initiatives to, to bring in um, uh, papers and to, to attract authors. I think one of the most successful things has been our focus on emerging uh, young investigators. So again, another part of our mission is to, is to allow uh, and, and facilitate researchers across the world uh, to, to, to be part of this conversation and obviously emerging investigators are, are, are a big part so that's been a, a very successful aspect. And then we've had themed issues on important topics. Um, some of them relate to what I already described, so aerosols and health, pollution in megacities, but also intellectually interesting topics you know, like uh, brilliant light sources, so how you can use new tools of chemistry or, or analytical chemical physics to bring to bear on the sorts of, of intellectual questions we want to, to, to address. I'm excited to see all sorts of topics because I, I personally enjoy, I certainly like being able, you know, on a themed issue, to be able to think about, here's a topic, and uh, you know, I'm going to see paper and paper and paper and paper that kind of 
looks at that, that topic in an interesting and different way, so that sort of focus is interesting. But as well, the topic, you know, the, an aspect of, of environmental science in general is the complexity, is the interconnectedness of atmospheric transformation of, of organic material or other chemistry in the atmosphere, the multi-phase aspects where you have air, homogeneous chemistry in air, but you've got little aqueous droplets floating around doing their aqueous chemistry thing, the interfacial issues associated with that, the biosphere, and so that breadth of being able to see many different interesting topics in a, in, under a single cover I think is super interesting. Well, we're continuing to grow. Uh, we will, uh, you know, receive our impact factor fairly soon, and so that that is another aspect of, of making the journal attractive to, uh, to to authors for various reasons. Though I would say that an impact factor per se isn't. It's a number. Um, it's the actual consequence and impact of the individual papers that really matters from our perspective. But certainly, that's a that that's something that's coming, um, and. You know, I, I foresee the journal continuing to grow. Uh, we've had, we use a lot of, of you know, personal networking, but to, to have the journal uh, emerge as one of the first journals that authors across the world again think of, geez, I would like to publish, I would like to submit to this journal. That's the goal that we're heading toward.